everybody, this is Lindsay from Winding Road Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to make the mini basket weave border. If you like the tutorial, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more crochet goodness. The first thing you're going to want to do is single crochet around your project, and I do have a video on how to do this, and I'll put that up in the corner for you. But the other thing you really want to do is make sure that the stitches you have on the side of your project here on the top and on every side is an odd number of stitches. Now this pattern will work with an even number of stitches, but the corners look nicer if you have an num odd number of stitches on every side of your project. So to get started, we're already at our corner. We are going to actually work into the corner, which technically is kind of working backwards a little bit, but when we do this every single row, it's going to allow us to stay, keep our seam right there in the corner. So you're going to chain three, and then we're going to double crochet into the corner. So we're kind of double crocheting over one of those chains. And then just so you know, I do not count my chain, my turning chain as a stitch. So that's just gonna be kind of extra there. And I'm gonna show you in the next rows what I like to do instead of a turning chain. So now this row is very, very easy. All we're gonna do is double crochet in every stitch until we reach the corner again. So this is our kind of our easy foundation double crochet row that we are making here. So we've made it to the corner and working into that corner, we're going to double crochet we're going to chain two and work another double crochet into the corner. Now we're just going to double crochet in each stitch along the other side of the row. And the beautiful thing about this project is after this row, we're actually going to have a one row repeat, though I will show it to you twice because it looks a little bit different each row. So we've reached our next corner. We're going to double crochet. We're going to chain two, and then double crochet again into that corner, and then just keep repeating this around. So double crochet in each stitch across the row, work your corner again, and then double crochet until you've reached your very first corner. So here we're coming up to the very last corner and we've already worked one double crochet into this corner, so we're just gonna double crochet on this side of the corner. We're going to chain two, and then slip stitch to the very first double crochet. There we go. So that is our first row worked, and it's just a simple row of double crochet. Now we're ready to start row two. You can start row two with a chain three and then double crochet into this corner, or you can work a standing double crochet. To do that, pull up your loop, wrap your hook around that loop, grab your yarn and pull it to the front of your work. That's gonna act as your yarn over. Then you're gonna go into the corner and pull up a new loop. And then just complete your double crochet. This is completely optional, but I do think it leaves a nicer looking corner. So now we're ready to start our repeat going around our edge here. We're gonna start by making a front post double crochet. And the beautiful thing about this stitch pattern is that it is a one row repeat from now on. So we're gonna make a front post double crochet and then moving to the next stitch, we're going to make a back post double crochet. And if you need a slower version of the front and back post, I have a video for that and I will link it above. And it's gonna be that easy. We're just gonna repeat these two stitches all the way along the row. So we're gonna front post double crochet and then do a back post double crochet. And work that until you reach your corner. So I've worked it all the way down and if your stitch count is right and you had an odd number of stitches, you are going to end with a front post double crochet. 
If you don't, it's going to be okay. Your corners just look nicer if you end with a front post double crochet. Now in the corner, just like we did in the previous row, we're going to double crochet. We're going to chain two and then double crochet into the corner again. All right, now we're ready to repeat that along the other row, always starting with a front post double crochet and then work a back post double crochet. And then just continue repeating that until you reach your next corner. So here I've made it to the next corner and I'm just going to double crochet, chain two, and then double crochet. And then just work your other two sides the way we've done these last two. So it's always starting with that front post double crochet, repeat front post, back post until you reach the corner, work your corner, and then work the next side. So here we are at our last corner. Of course, we are ending with a front post double crochet. And then again, because we've already worked one double crochet, we just need to double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch to the first double crochet. And there is your second row. The wonderful thing about this pattern is that row three and all rows beyond this are going to be a repeat of row two. I'm going to start with a standing double crochet. You can also do a chain three and a double crochet into the corner. That is completely fine. And again, we are going to start with a front post double crochet. But because we worked that extra double crochet in the corner, when we reach our second stitch, we'll be doing a back post into a front post that we did the previous row. Let me show you. I'm going to front post double crochet into the first stitch. The second stitch was my front post double crochet of the previous row. Now, instead of that, I'm going to back post double crochet around this stitch. So every stitch will be alternating every row. The next stitch was, was a back post double crochet now we're going to work a front post double crochet around it. We're still doing the same repeat, front post, back post, front post, back post, but we've just shifted over one stitch so that it will be alternating. And that's what is gonna give us this really nice little mini basket weave look. So my next stitch is a front post. This row, I'm going to do a back post double crochet around it. And we're gonna repeat this to the end of the row. So we've reached the corner. You're always going to finish with a front post double crochet as long as you had that starting odd stitch count. Then working into the corner, same as the last two rows, we're going to double crochet. We're going to chain two and double crochet into the corner again. Now we'll work down the next side of our work project Again, starting with that front post double crochet. Next stitch will be our back post double crochet. And continue repeating that until you reach your corner. When you get to your corner, work the same corner that we just did and continue that pattern all the way around your project. So here we are at the end of row three, again, ending with a front post double crochet, working a double crochet into this side of our corner, chaining two, and slip stitching to the very first double crochet. As I said, this is a one row repeat, so just continue repeating row three for as many rows as you like. I like to do around five or six rows total. It makes about a two inch border. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here's my finished border. I worked a total of five border rows, one being the plain double crochet and four with the front post back post. I think this creates a very beautiful texture that would look great among lots of different blankets. And I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, 
follow me on other social media platforms, and check out my blog for lots of free crochet patterns.